Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with the Pokemon Showdown Live. Today we're going to be hitting up the OU tier with this team by Kurai Tenshi. Uh, it's a flying spam team with Sticky Web, Araquanid, and Sash Exedrill lead. Um, one of the reasons why I like to use teams like this is because I think it gives me a better idea of how to play versus them. For example, I uh, was testing out this team on ladder and Garchomp just... Lead Garchomp just gave me so much trouble. Like, I could weaken it with Earthquake, but then... It like broke through my team. Dragonium knocks out Dragonite through multiscale, which I did not know. Um, Araquanid doesn't appreciate Dragonium. Like Pinscher comes in faster. Mimikyu has to sack its disguise. So it's like you learn a lot as you're playing these type of teams and how you can deal with them. And also like knowing that this thing doesn't have extreme speed, I think it's pretty big as well. But we're using Dragonite, Dragonium, Dragonite with uh, Sticky Web, Stealth Rock, uh, Mimikyu with its disguise, Mega Pinscher, and of course Scarf Magnezone to help round out the team a little bit. But let's go ahead and look for a battle. Should be a fun live. I I expect some auto losses, but also some pretty quick wins with either Pinsir or uh, Dragonite. Like I said, during testing, uh, Garchomp gave me the most trouble. I think my best way of dealing with it is just honestly attacking it immediately. Like, I think that's honestly my best way of dealing with it. Just attacking it. Uh, but we have an Azelf lead. He does have Defog on the... Uh, on the Kartana. Well, Keldeo, I mean, Arachnid is just really good versus him, in general. Have fun. So, what my opponent's lead would be, uh, I'm pretty sure it'd be just Azelf, and it'd just taunt my extra drill turn 1. But I could just spam Rapidspin, or I could just lead Arachnid and just uh, liquidate immediately. I don't see a problem with that. If he opts to go for the Stealth Rock first, before booming, that'd be fine. Uh, I could see my opponent going for taunt right here. This is like a this is like a, a really crucial term too because if I get this right and I get up webs as he booms, uh, webs are just so much better versus him. Come on, you have to taunt. You have to taunt. Taunt me. Taunt me. I want to click web so badly because then he gets a boom versus me. I'm gonna click sticky web, whatever. I'm clicking sticky web. I right, goes for future sight, which gives me. <laughs> That's really cool. That is really cool. I'm thinking about it like two turns ahead. He's going to knock out something when I try and spin. That is so cool. All right, he's just going to explode right here. Yeah, I can't really switch out, but at the same time, nothing on his team can set up on my Araquanid. I will go down to Future Sight in the following turn, but nothing on his team can set up on Araquanid. So, webs going up are great. I can also get up my rocks for Volcarona. I don't even know if he's Default Cartana because he's like a, a suicide lead as of. Like, it's meant to just get up rocks and boom. Maybe Keldeo will come out. Landorus is a pretty good answer right now, too. If Landorus actually sets up that's a little bit annoying, but I think that because I do have Mimikyu's the skies will be okay. Speaking of Mimikyu, his is going to be very annoying, but Extra Drill's Mold Breaker is really nice for that, too. Uh, Scarf Magnezone is actually a lot better now, too, just because it actually beats uh, a Keldeo and a Kartana under Sticky Web, so I don't have to worry about that. I can HP fire a Kartana or anything like that. If he goes Kartana, I'm just going to hit it with the uh, Liquidation. I don't know if Leech Life does more. I don't feel like doing any basic math in my head. Oof. Goes Landers, so we're definitely going to attack this thing with the Liquidation. Uh, we can't let it set up for free. If he opts to. Um, I don't know if he would actually versus me. Would you set up immediately? Yeah, you should Earthquake, because then Future Sight goes through nothing. He could be Crush. Okay, so Mega Pinsir is the one that wins, right? It beats this. It beats Caldeo. Um, knowing that, I want to go... Dragonite and just click my Dragonium. I really do. Uh, if he has Condor to Crush, I don't think there was anything I could do about that. I, I would lose a mind to the Z move anyway. And if he opts to stay in right here, I either pick up the KO. He wouldn't go. Would you go Mimikyu? <sighs> he might go Mimikyu. He might actually know the team because this team was featured as well, which makes it a little bit harder for me to use. But then again, like it's not hard to figure out what I'm using, but typically you see Z fly Dragonite. Nice, nice, nice. So, one, I found out I'm faster. Two, I got rid of Landers. I'm, I'm Jolly Dragonite, so that makes sense that I'm faster. I guess he was adamant Landers. But I got rid of Landers right there. And he still doesn't appreciate the Dragonite at all. Like, it being faster and everything. If he goes Kartana, I do a Fire Punch. Uh, missing out on Extreme Speed for coverage, because Fire Punch plus Earthquake hits all the steals. Skarmory, Feral Thorn, Magirna, Heat Ram, Scizor, all of them. So great that he actually goes Mimikyu right here. Uh, because I can just fire punch through his disguise. 
break through it. And then I have Pincer in the back to deal with it. So actually, we'll get a, I think I'll get up rocks after, if anything. Um, because I think rocks ensure... Oh, and he even goes Keldeo, so that's whatever. So I think rocks ensure that I, uh, I beat Volk. A little bit sad that he switched right there. Unless he has Icy Wind, he doesn't beat me. But would Earthquake damage make more sense here? I'm, I'm trying to think about the end game, right? Because Mega Pitch is the Pokemon that's going to win me this end game, right? Uh, it just knocks out everything. So I don't think... Earth Actually, Earthquake damage is necessary just in case he is... Um, Earthquake damage is necessary just in case he was Scarf Keldeo. Uh, because he's still outspeeding me on, under Sticky Web. And then we can just Fire Punch right here on the... Uh, Cartana as he opts to get rid of rocks for me. So great. So now I keep my Sasher alive. Uh, we do get rid of Cartana. And uh, yes, Mimikyu can outspeed me now and play rough. Ideally, it is a life form Mimikyu. That way, Excadrill knocks it out with Earthquake after. And I can just toxic the Volcarona. He also made my Pinsir not have to come in on Hazard. So I'm okay with that. Also, that was confirmed Scarf Cartana since it did outspeed my Dragonite. Uh, but Fire Punch is better than Earthquake because it also gives me that chance to burn him. And it is life form great, so we can go extra drill right now. Alright, does Shadow Claw 2 a KO mean life form Shadow Claw 2 a KO? If it does, then my play is to Earthquake. But otherwise, I'd love to get up. Uh, no, my play is always to Earthquake anyway. It does 2 a KO always, but yeah, Earthquake knocks him out with the life form recall. As he goes hard, Volker run him, which is not a problem to me at this point. Um. I don't want to sack Magnezone because it's actually really good versus him. Mimic use Disguise. I want to keep Excadrill alive just because of its Disguise. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go Mimic you right here. Because we take every hit. Um, and basically, by keeping Excadrill alive, I guarantee get rid of the, the Mimic you. So uh, we can just Saddle Sneak. Doesn't really have a switch in. If you go Keldeo, you're in range of the... Doesn't even burn me. Nice. If you go Keldeo, you're in range of the... Uh, Quick attack after. And by keeping Magnezone alive also, I'll always be able to take a Shadow Snake. So I'm just keeping as many options as possible in the back to deal with Pokemon like Mimikyu, to deal with uh, Keldeo and whatnot. Uh, goes Mimikyu. Well, Shadow Snake right here. Just to bust his disguise. Uh, not that it really matters at the end of the day. But that also means I can just go Magnezone after if he has these. Or just goes right for Shadow Claw. At this point, we could just go Magnezone as opposed to going Extra Drill because we keep Extra Drill Sash alive for Keldeo. Let's click Earthquake. Then we just click Flash Cannon. Knock out Mimikyu. And no matter what Keldeo said it is, even if it's Calm Mind, um, Earthquake into... If he does Calm Mind up, I'll switch, but... Yeah. He can't get up a sub versus me and Scarf, extra, uh, Scarf Magnezone on speeds. So, uh, Secret Sword. I just click Earthquake here. Nice. Let me just go around to Magnezone, click Thunderbolt, and if that doesn't knock him out, then I have Quick Attack in the end game. Good game, dude. A few double switches my opponent made, but I think I made the... Uh, it, it was offense versus offense, so I think a lot of it would have came down to uh, certain turns. Like, for example, versus Keldeo, if I switched. Uh, in this game, for example, he has T-Spikes plus uh, Coco, so I'm not going to sack the extra go immediately. And Volker, yo, this team is so annoying. His team is so annoying. Uh, which is, I'm not saying I should go immediately at all. Uh, I'll lead a Raquanid. He leads Lando. He'll U-turn, but I'm liquidating immediately. Um, this thing is a pain for me to deal with, especially because I'm all physical outside of Magnezone. So I get an annoying, annoying crit, which actually keeps my Focus Sash as well. So a very, very bad crit for my opponent turn one. Because um, those rocks are gone. Like Those rocks are not staying up, guys. I don't, I don't care what he does. Those rocks are not staying up. No matter what my opponent chooses to do, those rocks are not staying up. And I can even get up my Sticky Web too versus whatever comes in. Actually though, if he does go Tapu Koko, I think I'll just go for the... Uh, I think Dragonite just wins, one. Uh, because Jolly Dragonite outspeeds Koko. And two, Earthquake, Dragonium, Fire Punch. Doesn't matter. He might just U-turn here because I do have uh, extra drill. I'll liquidate. I'll Focus Sash, so again, I can play... I can afford to play this a certain way. As he goes Mew. Um, and I do have Toxic, so I don't mind Mew too much. Especially because it's forced to recover. It could be Genesis Supernova, I guess. It is Genesis Supernova. Oh. It's Genesis Supernova new. That's cool. But it doesn't... It really does not matter because I get to go Magnezone and just Volt Switch on him. Um, uh, Volt Switch should be able to knock out... Uh, 
Maybe not. I think I think I don't think Voltage knocks out Mew. Then I get a liquidation to that much. Does my disguise on scissor on, on Mimikyu even matter? If Volt Switch knocks it out, that's my play. Cause I do not want to be in versus this. What is that set? I just <laughs> I guess I didn't import this. Uh get rid of this choice specs, bro. We, we, we scarf out here. That's all, uh, definitely offensive Mew as well. Oh, it's like Mew and Z, sure. 33 to 39. I, I like those odds. I like those odds, and I really don't want to let Volcarona in before I've even been able to spin. But then again, I do have my disguise. So you know what? That doesn't matter. Let me just Thunderbolt here. Knock him out. Uh, basically, if Volcarona comes in, I can Thunderbolt that for a little bit of damage, and then go uh, sack something, then go Mimikyu, and win versus it. I, as long as I keep Excadrill alive, I don't lose to Coco as well. And I can still win the game with Dragonite as well, too. So, I think Thunderbolt ensured nothing really got to come in on me. I don't know, though. I'm really worried about the uh, the Volcarona, especially... Well, it's not Z, so that makes it a little bit easier. I have no idea what type of Volcarona it is, because Mew is Z. It could be double Z, but maybe a bulky Volcarona? Ideally, it just goes Coco, and just gives me the powered-up Thunderbolt. <laughs> That'd be amazing for me, because what could he do if he went Coco? HP Fire? Do, like, 5? Okay, I did like 40, 60 maybe, but that's the ideal situation. So right here, I don't know what type of uh, Volcarona this is. I need to Thunderbolt for damage, and that's Bulky Volk. That has to be Volky. Smart of him to get rid of my um, my Magnezone right there. But I get to go Mega Pinsir now, and just click Frustration. I don't care what movie makes, I am getting rid of this Volcarona right now. I couldn't Quick Attack because of Psychic Terrain, and uh, he does get the Flame Body on me. A little bit annoying because Scizor is a problem. Actually, very annoying because Scizor is a problem. Game just got a lot harder. Yeah, he just rabbit. Uh, I get I get to rabbits in first, so break the multi scale, uh, and I'll sack Pincer to be able to go out and I have to keep extra alive because it puts Earthquake versus these two. Uh, I sack Pincer right here to knock off. I get in Dragonite. I click Fire Punch. If he goes Pex, I Dragon Dance up. Uh, I don't think Fire Punch knocks him out. Oh, it does. Thank you. I got a crit, which is pretty nice. Um, I mean, a little justice for the burn, but then again, I got a first turn crit too, so... At this point, I could just Dragon Dance up. I literally win the game with extra Click clicking Earthquake. He said, hey. Front. I mean, I would have been able to Shadow Sneak that Mon anyway, and then Extra Drill, it, it came down to if Toxapex burnt me with Scald, because Extra Drill would live a hit from this, and just be able to keep clicking um, Earthquake. So, let's go ahead and look for another game. Still in the 1800s, that's fine. I'm, I'm looking forward to Rhodes Top 10 in the summer. I think it's gonna be, uh... I think it's gonna be super, super, super clean. Um... I, I, I love playing on the OU ladder, and I'm pretty interested to think, or to see how, uh... Oh man, my boy CB's playing for Cryos. Man, when does it start? I got about. Blunder's asking if anybody wants to record CB's game. I would love to actually. I want. I want it. I would love to record CB's game. We might keep the second half of this as CB's game. Uh, so this might turn in from an OU live to. This might that'll be the second time this week. An OU live to a highly competitive game. Uh, a highly competitive gameplay. If anything, I might just uh, commentate his uh, replay as well. I've been thinking about that. Okay, so Samurai's Drill is so good versus me. Dragonite's so good versus him. Megalopony, Smooth Rock, and he has deep. He has this fat defensive core. Uh, so Rakuten is my best play because it doesn't go down to... I don't think it goes down to Fake Out plus Return, and I get off damage on Lopany. Plus I get up webs. Plus frustration, I don't think I go down to that. I also don't think my liquidation knocks him out, so... Yep. Nice, so we can just spam liquidation right now. Uh, so we get to go out into Dragonite. Pinch is also another option, but 
yeah, I think Pitch is a better option uh, because I force in Skarmory. He might actually even double attack right here, predicting me to go Magnezone. Uh, I don't mind Skarmory going down. Assuming, of course, he is uh, Defog, Skarm, and not Rapid Spin Drill. This is such a tough matchup. I want to keep my Sash on Drill for sure. I would love if he predicts me to go Magnezone right here and just decides to click Frustration. Yeah, I'll take a ton of damage, but... Yep. Nice, but we get rid of one of the biggest threats to my team, something with Fake Out, something that stops my entire team and also stops the Mimikyu in the back. So, uh, I can see him going uh, Tyranitar, but ends up going out into his Clefable. Do I live? Don't I live Moonblast? I, I swear that Moonblast only does like 30-something. I know Pitcher doesn't have the best defenses, but... 39 to 46. Special defense, rather. That's good defense. Sorry about that, Kenneth Roth. I mean, base 90 isn't bad either. It's just an HP that's weak as hell. I need this thing gone. For Dragonite. We'll get some damage off. Uh, if, you want, if he just clicks rocks, that'd be great too. Um, and if Moonblast didn't get the roll, that'd be fire as well. But we can go Excadrill right here. I think we force a Skarmory in. And I think Magnezone is a pretty safe double anyway. As he just gets up rocks. Okay. Uh, that I don't care about. Um, because if you're going to defog, you're going to defog anyway. Yourself. Is this Assault Vest? This is such an annoying game to play. Because I need Dragonite to win. And therefore, I need to Rapid Spin away his hazards. But I need to keep my Sash intact, which I can't do. It's fine. Fine. We're going to Rapid Spin away the rocks. Then we're going to get up our own rocks. And then I'm going to try and Dragon Dance up with Dragonite and see if I can do anything. Uh, it's, it's this, it's literally this core. It's you too. Clefable stops everything that Dragonite wants to do. Because I'm not Sky Strike either. Get up our Young Rocks here. Knock me out. I don't think it's Defog Skarm. Maybe it's just Spin Drill. But I'm pretty sure it's Z Drill. But I don't think you can fit Spin on that. SD, Earthquake, Iron Head. I guess Rock Slide isn't super necessary these days. So like right here for instance... If I double out into Magnezone, and he does not knock out, and he goes Skarmory, I'm in a great position. And if I go for my Z move, Pinter, uh, Tangrel goes down. I'm going to make the double, even though I'm fairly sure he's just going to click knock off right here. I'm going to make the double, because if I can get rid of Skarmory, I can still win. Tyranitar first. Ugh, why? Why'd you go Titar first? I guess it breaks my multi-skill. Leftovers extra drill comes out. I'm not letting you uh, spin away my hazards, my friend. I'm pretty sure it's not Defog Skarm now. I am not letting you rapid spin away my hazards, bro. Go on, let me get some damage off on you. If I get rid of this, maybe I can flash cannon spam through him. He still has Tangrowth, though. Oh, we're definitely in an Earthquake. Don't flinch me. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so we got rid of uh, Drill. Um, I can still, I have to use my Z-move versus this, though. I don't want to. But this makes it, if this knocks him out, then that makes it that Magnezone plus Dragonite can still win, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, because you go Clef here for sure. I'm going to always flash cannon, because I'm kind of hoping he clicks knockoff. Could also just click HP Ice. If he clicks Earthquake, I, I lose this mon. But if he clicks knockoff, I can actually win, so... Yep. That's the game. That's the whole game. Even if I win Dragonite there, I would always have to double back and forth, and I lose unless he clicks knockoff. So unless this Earthquake crits, and I live this... And it's no attack Skarmory with counter. Good game, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I was winning that one. He had everything that beats the team. Well, the big one was Sand. But, um... So this guy's defoggers could be uh, Coco. Could be Lando. Uh, when I, Again, when I see Coco, we don't let Excadrill go down early. So we lead off with Araquanid. And we click Sticky Web. As he taunts me. Probably just going to go for the U-turn here too. 
You don't have a, a switch in though, but I'm going extra girl just in case. Like, I, I won't lose a mom by going by doing this play. I don't think I will. And I don't think high jump kick into frustration also knocks out a rag it, which I think is pretty big. Also, the fact that he's taunt. What? Oh, I'm about to say, why'd you go this? Uh, either way, this gives me a rack it. Can't burn me. You can taunt, but then I get off a of liquidation. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Give me that liquidation. Why? You can't burn me. It's part of my ability. He just gave me heat red for no reason. Nice. My uh, Dragon Eye has a good chance of winning this game. Um, same thing with Pinsir, because webs are up. So we stay in always. You can see my jump kicking, I guess. But I think I think that Pinsir's always the correct play here. If he's Defog Lando, so be it. But I think he might be a Scarf Lando. And if he's gonna give me Lopany, great. Like something that could fake me out and waste turns on my setup mods, amazing. So like Pinsir's really tough for him to deal with but I'm also willing to sack it to give Dragonite the setup because Dragonite doesn't lose to Bulu and um, unless it's Stone Edge and also I'm willing to figure out if this is Scarf right now I found out it was Scarf by dodging a Stone Edge I want to let everybody know that's how I found that it was Scarf <laughs> you think he's gonna stay in his Stone Edge again he should and I should switch out to Excadro but I have a better switch right here, which is Magnezone, which covers literally every play he can make. Yeah, and I just get to click Flash Cannon now. That was a really bad miss for my opponent. Um, not only for the fact that I got off, oh, that, that, you know, my pitch is still alive, but the big thing was I got off frustration damage. Although that would have given me the spin with extra drill, which made Dragonite's job a lot easier. Because again, Jolly Dragonite outspeeds Coco. Uh, and right now I just get to click Flash Cannon. If he's Assault Vest Magirna, it's Assault Vest Magirna. But then if it's set up, like Shift Gear, I click, oh, it's AV uh, Bulu. Cool. He just gave me damage. Appreciate it. And he goes for Nature's Madness, which I, I had no reason to switch right there. Um, it misses, but I don't think it matters at all because he just gave me Bulu. So one more turn of Earthquakes actually doing damage. Cole comes out. I can just click Flash Cannon versus this too. I have no reason to switch my Magnus on out at this point. Giga Ball Havoc. Okay. I go drill. I click rabbit spin. I can get up rocks as well. I click rabbit spin to uh, keep my multi scale intact. Extra drill still beats everything, so the play is to sack uh, Pinsir here. He should stone edge. Or he just blows himself up. That's fine too. Uh, we then just get to go extra drill and just click earthquake. Even if it's Shook and Barrier Mag. Uh, that don't matter because I do have Dragonite in the back as well as my uh, Magirna. Uh, the Stone Edge miss was the biggest thing, but because he just boom right there, I'm not sure. Like in the long run, it should have mattered for sure. Starts like now. You can join me midway, please. He's asking for jam. It is Shuka. Ooh, cool. But you don't knock me out with Ice Beam. Okay, so the way he could still win, yeah. Uh, there was a few ways he could still win right there. Uh, freezing me. Freezing Action Drill and Freezing Mimikyu were actually the only two ways he could still win that game after what happened. But let's go ahead and look for another game. I definitely want to record the CUB game. I'll join you midway at Blender. Give me like five minutes. I definitely want to record the CUB game, and I don't mind if it doesn't go on my channel. Because, you know, tournament replay, it's tournament season, right? So everybody, the tournament replays are coming, right? My well, man Dodd is like going to be uploading every single one. I'm definitely uploading my replays, win or lose. I always do uh, from SPL. And we have some really, really, really. We have some really like fire matchups this week too. Just in general. Like not my, my team in specifically, but just in general. Uh, God, Sand. What a game. If I was Sky Strike, this would be so much easier. Alright, Rakuen is the best in this. Needs Kyurem. I'm going to get up my stealth. Did I just play Stealth Rock? I'm going to get up my Stealth Rock. He 
You get Earth Power here. I meant Sticky Web, obviously. <sighs> Crap, man. Because Magnus is so useful in this, but I have nothing that can knock this thing out in one hit. I think I gotta go zone and just... Even though I need zone for pins, there's so much in this game. I need everything to go my way. Alright, so thankfully he gives me damage on Kirim, which is what I need. I'm okay with losing my Kirim right there. Because then, yo, know, Pincer about to come out, you know, Pincer, Pincer about to have a little bit of fun right now. Because I'm looking for his Pincer switch-ins, and they're non-existent. And sacking Kir uh, Kirim, which is great because it actually outsped me if he defogged away my Sticky Web, which he really was able to do, so um, works out really well for me. So, what's the up right here? SD up on the defog. I don't want it to be Scarf Zone, so I'm actually going to Earthquake first, just because plus two frustration doesn't knock out Tabu Fini anyway. But if he is Scarf Zone, I get it on the KO if he opts to save Fini, which I think he should, considering what I have left. Um, also, I don't think Hippowdon takes plus two Earthquake into plus two frustration. Yep, so there goes the uh, the Magnezone coming in, and then Pinsir is about to come through, have a little bit of fun right here. Beautiful. I think that thing was indeed... Uh, Scarf. Scarf plus Pinsir is a really known combo. Just click that frust plus two frustration. Get a nice little 2 KO on this boy. As he gets up rocks. We'll earthquake right here, and then we'll probably lose the X-Drill. Earthquake just in case he goes Drill. No, oh, okay. Frustration into Quick Attack should knock out Drill anyway. What am I saying? Uh, so that's Smooth Rocket Pout on. Something you don't typically see. So like I said, Drill is a huge problem. I'm actually, actually going to quick attack it if he goes out to Drill. Am I? So Mimikyu can put some work? I see myself losing to his own pincer though. I think... Because I'm thinking he's Z, right? <sighs> Crap, man. I think I had to quick attack there. Because I was thinking about like the, the end game, right? But I don't have enough pieces left to win. Okay, so let's let's. I got time. I can explain myself. Um, if I quick attack, if I if I lost Pinter, I think my best play was to go off the rock side miss. By the way, because frustration into quick attack would knock him out. If I lose Pinter, which I am now, I go mimic you. I click Shadow Claw, which doesn't even two kill this. I think I had to quick attack, but then I lose the Pinter. Like I had nothing for Pinter, unless I was spinning. And even if I did spin. I would have Dragonite left, and Dragonite doesn't beat Tapu Fini. Yeah, I think this game was an L, no matter what I did. Like, no matter what I did, I think I lost this game. Yep, I didn't have enough pieces. I needed four Pokemon left. Uh, And I had no way of keeping four Pokemon, because I had no way of weakening Kirim prior to this. Yeah, I think this game was a loss no matter what. I hope you guys see what I mean, right? Because in order to beat down Kirim, what I needed webs to pressure the defog from this guy. Uh, but and even though I did, you know, get the KO on Magnus, it doesn't matter if I don't have a long-term way of thinking or of winning. I do have a long-term way of thinking, but I don't have a long-term way of winning because uh, every single he'd always have this pincer in the back. It depends if he switches right here, I can win, I guess. Or if I crit, if I crit Shadow Claw, I can win. Nope. It's taking a long time to click. Maybe he thinks I'm Scarf on Exodro, and that could give me something. I don't even think plus two quick attack will put him in range of anything. I gotta spin regardless of what he does here, if he earthquakes or predicts my Dragonite or not. I have to spin regardless, uh, because I need to get this thing out of multi-scale range so he can actually try and do something. And even then, I still don't beat the Tapu Fini. Like, I need these. I needed four Pokemon in this endgame versus Excadrill, all healthy, right? So versus Pinsir right there. I guess I could have went Excadrill just as, to waste the Sand turn, but he would still have these two. Thank you. He would still have these two either way. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, he's going to Corkshoe Crash me right now. Oh, it just, just goes for Rock Slide. GG. Yep. Uh, I didn't have an endgame, I think, at all, like, to win this game. I think he had everything that beats me. Uh, Pinsir, 
which smacks me because uh, Zone had to take the fall. Excadrill, which literally beats the entire team. And Tapu Fini was dragon. I couldn't break through. If I was Sky Strike, that might be a different thing. So if you guys want to try out the team, feel free to try Sky Strike. But in that game, I don't think I could have won it unless he just threw away every single Pokemon. Like unless he went Pinsir first before I pout on. I don't think I could have done anything. But uh, I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Maybe maybe switching into Extra Drill and Rabbit Spinning on to pout on to get rid of rocks. Even then, I, I didn't have a way of beating Tapu Fini. I don't know. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll be on Blender's channel today. So goodbye, friends.